let's uh, see about how to do thread using monstack thread is create read update and delete uh, in a database how to create a record how to read record from a database and how to update record in a database and how to delete some records in a database okay so here now um, there is already uh, we have already done this uh, thread op uh, operation using a class component and functional component so let's first download the code and uh, check it so here let me copy this code and then let me download this code So here in this new folder grad I am just downloading this code using git clone and the link. The code is getting downloaded. The code is downloaded now. Okay, and if you go to uh, the functional component, you have a readme file. The readme file says that what you have to do, right? Uh, clone this repository which you have already done. Then navigate to the folder, open, navigate to the server folder, server folder, and open. ENV file okay, and replace your uh, mongo url and save it okay the second thing is you have to go we have to replace our url here okay so for, for that first what you have to do is that we have to go and create a mongodb account so search for uh, mongodb atlas in google and then you will get some link um, Okay, you can click start free. We'll ask for registration, sign up with Google. We'll ask for a Google account and then you can choose your Google account and then uh, you have to just fill a uh, few things. Uh, uh, we have to build a new application. What type of application we are building is uh, uh, okay. Content, time series, data, real time messaging, mobile app, microservices, or APIs. Okay. And then, what's the preferred language? We are using JavaScript. Okay. And then click finish. Okay. Now you are. Uh, So now you have uh, your account created in uh, MongoDB. Okay, so now we are using the Mongo database in the cloud, which is called Mongo uh, Atlas, right? So we are going to create a uh, uh, database here, and we are going to create a table here, and we are going to store information in the table here. Okay, so now here click the database link, and then we just need to build a database. You can build database. Okay, and then uh, we can choose the M0 free for now. Okay, and then uh, provider AWS is fine. Uh, region, Virginia, I think it's also fine. Name, mm, you cannot change the name once a cluster is created. Uh, name, you can put probably uh, any name, right? Bala underscore crud, invalid cluster name, okay. Crud. Bala thread I am creating and then uh, I just do create, create. Okay. Uh, so password is this auto generated password. Uh, create a database with the username password. You will be able to read and write to any database privilege. Okay. So now we will create a user. Okay. So we have created a user and then um, so this is basically uh, we are assessing this MongoDB uh, database in the cloud, right? So what, what IP address we have to access uh, from here, right? Uh, so uh, so here you can also access, allow access to all IP or you can allow access to our IP alone. Okay, uh, so our IP address is already added here. So you can also access, uh, allow access from any computer. Right now only from our computer we can uh, 
I have access to this uh, Mongo database. We can uh, allow access from any computer. For that, what you have to do, go to the network access page. In the network access page, you just need to add an IP. While adding an IP, I also allow access from anywhere. Click this. So this entry will be there. Click confirm. This entry is temporary. Okay, click confirm. Now there is one more IP added. Right, it is status is pending. Which means that uh, this you can connect to this database from any IP address, right? So that uh, you uh, you have, you have created this application, right? Uh, so in your application, you will access this Mongo database, and uh, even if you run your application from any computer, your application will work because you are allowing access from any any IP address. Okay, so this is active. Okay, now we have created a cluster, okay, uh, which is called Brala CRUD, and then uh, so what is this is a database, right? So uh, okay, so this we have a cluster created. Now what is the cluster is? See, a shard cluster is a collection of data sets distributed among many shards or many servers. So your cluster is nothing but a database, collection of database. Which is distributed among many servers, right? So, now what is the purpose? Why are you doing that? We will check that. So, basically, you have server one, you have server two, you have server three, right? All these servers are interconnected like this, and then uh, you will have a database here, and you will have the same database copy here, right? The same database will be our replica will be available in other servers also. So these uh, servers are called shards, right? So and this database is distributed among many servers, right? So what is the purpose of distributing database among many servers? Is is for right? Uh, see, there will be uh, you will have many requests coming in, right? What is scalability in web application? What is scalable? Your application is a scalable application. Scalable means how far you can make it big. Suppose you see WhatsApp. It's a web application, right? So WhatsApp, every morning when everyone gets up, right, they will go, they will open WhatsApp and they will check it, correct? So think of how many requests is going to the server. There are many requests going to the server, right? And all the requests your server should be able to process. Correct? When a request comes, you have to process and send a response, right? But you see, right, in while uh, while checking for your exam results and all, the server goes down. Which means what? Many people are sending the request at the same time, which the server is not able to handle. And server crashes or goes down, right? So our application, it should not go down, right? The server should not go down. Now, for that, what you have to do? One way is, you can increase the processing capacity of the server. The server might be uh, have a 16 GB RAM and it will have a i7 processor and it will have 3.0 GHz uh, uh, frequency clock speed. Now you can increase the speed of it. You can increase from 16 GB RAM to 32 GB RAM, i7 to i9 processor, right? Clock speed you can increase further so that you can process more requests. This kind of scaling, right? Increasing the capacity is called vertical scale. Increasing the processing capacity of your machine. Otherwise, what you can do is when many requests are coming, right? You can have many servers. Some requests can go to this server, some requests can go to the other server. This is called horizontal scaling up. Okay, so what is the cluster? Collection of all the servers, right? And the database, right? This is called a cluster. Okay. And that is what is mentioned here. It's a collection of data sets, right? Collection of data sets distributed around many servers. What is the purpose for horizontal scalability and for better performance in read write operation? While somebody is reading from here, somebody can write to it, right? So this is what is a cluster. Now, what we have done, we have created a cluster, right? We have created a cluster and then we have to connect. So okay. While connecting, 
so here we are going to um, connect our application right like node js uh, to the mongodb so we have to choose this drivers and then uh, the drivers means the node js what version you are using five, you have to use 5.5 or later and then uh, you have to install your mongodb here and this is your uh, uh, the url you have to use in your application to connect to this uh, mongodb Okay, so copy this URL and put it in a notepad. Okay, this password part alone I, we have to change to the actual password. So click close here. We have copied the URL. We click close here. For the password, go to security, go to database access, and then uh, in the database access, check the password and then here. You can click on this auto generate password and uh, you can change the password. I am changing the password here and then I am updating it. Okay, now the pa password is updated. So, in the URL, instead of uh, password, here I put the actual password here. So, this is a URL we need to use from, in, from our application to connect to this uh, Mongo database. 